Fruit quality prediction using image processing. So first of all, to run the project, what you have to do, you have to go into your project folder. Suppose this is my project folder, okay. And then here, here you have to open CMD. Mm -hmm. Like you can right click here and you can, you know, click to this open in CMD. This is the one of the way. And second way is you can directly go to here, like in this address bar. You can just remove the address bar and type CMD and hit enter. <coughs> This is the second way python then you can type python application.py and hit enter okay and this is the way to run the project okay and to open this project in uh, vs code you just have to install vs code and and just open the project folder in vs code it will uh, just like this let me help you with this okay like this you can go and then you can type your project path and you can open it so it will automatically gets open in like this way okay so here you can then directly check the code okay so just let me run the project for my case is 3.10 but you just have to type python you don't have to type 310 okay and it then once it gets up it will give you a link so then you have to go to the ac url and once you go to this url so this will be basic home screen this is the about screen and this is the login page and this is the registration page okay so let me directly login into it and then once you do login it will ask you for image then you can select uh, any image like you can click your real time image or you can uh, pass from the given folder like if you go to your project folder so i have given you test data so inside test data there is images folder is there there is one more zip file is there so in the zip file that is validation data so you can also uh, unzip that data and you can do the testing okay and then go to test it images folder and you can pass any image okay but make sure the fruit image should be the same on based on our category right so we have basically uh, trained our model for certain categories right i have sent you those categories so only those categories it will make the prediction that if you pass some other images like banana or apple so it will not predict okay it will give false predicts maybe it will give false predicts or incorrect okay because we have not trained algorithm for those fruits okay so this, this way you will get the output and if you click to image it will automatically get uh, big okay so as you can see this is the uh, this is the bad uh, uh, bad melon right so so as you can see it is a tolling key routine melon and it is also suggesting some precaution and prevention we should take okay for this okay so this is the way for live prediction okay and if you go to your project folder and if you want more images so i have given you data set link okay so just uh, go to this uh, open this uh, particular uh, text file and copy the link and just go to the link okay and then you will get the uh, other data set okay complete uh, algorithm details right so this is the validation data training data you can also download other images as well from here you just go to the a folder and then go to image image folder and then from here you can download any image okay and and you can make the prediction and you can give the demo okay so here is our multiple photos are there right mangoes everything like all classes so basically we have trained algorithm on this number of classes total 50 classes are there right a fresh mango fresh melon mainly we have covered this uh, five types of uh, fruits as is mentioned in data set right i have sent you earlier so does the same data set so we have basically uh trained model in these five categories and we have differentiated into fresh or uh, semi and routine fresh means very fresh semi means like useful like we can eat and routine is bad okay so like that so is the data set part so you can download the images from here i will give you the link okay similarly suppose you want to check the algorithm details so basically let me tell you about algorithm and other thing so for algorithm part we have used yolo algorithm okay and we have used latest version which is v8 which is just released in 2023 okay so v8 is released recently so we have used the same uh, algorithm we have trained the algorithm on this data set okay so that is why we have got around 90 percent accuracy on data set okay so which is very good 
okay so if you want to check the machine learning code so you just have to go to this notebook folder and in the notebook folder i have given you uh, both html file as well as jupyter notebook so you can tell your teacher ki you have used google collab just do some research ki what is google collab okay so we have used basically google collab for training the algorithm and and here is the code of that google collab if you want to directly open your the system then you can open with this html file okay so here you can see we are downloading the data set from roboflow we are connecting our google drive to store the data and we are just making the folder and zipping the data and we are installing some libraries so for for yolo after yolo v wait and, and v7 okay they have launched a library yolo developer has launched a library in python ultra analytics so it has inbuilt code for yolo and other algorithms okay so we have used that so after once you install this library now yolo will automatically gets configured so then you can check it okay so like that and then we are just training the algorithm okay and a yolo has multiple uh, models like uh, nano small medium large and extra large okay so we have used large model so because we wanted accuracy so we have used large model okay as you can see here yolo vl that is large okay then we are passing the data set and we have used 30 epochs means 30 time algorithm will do the training okay and then we are storing the result into this folder okay and this is the training part so after training so as you can see here is the result for the all category we have almost uh, got around 95 percent uh, and accuracy okay so here is the graph as well if you want to put in your report so you can put this graph this is the accuracy graph for all other classes like all 50 classes okay and this is the confidential cover recall factor everything is there you can present this okay so once we do the training now it will generate one model class which is this one this is the output model class of your yolo algorithm and we have used this uh, file in our live prediction code if you go your project folder in model section so we have used this one so this is the model class of yolo algorithm which we have trained okay and then this is the uh, yolo architecture file so it has the yolo architecture architecture means what uh, this one uh, architecture means the neural network which you are internally using this one okay so it is this one okay so it is basically uh, this is the code which is provided by yolo developer only we don't have to do anything with this okay we just have to mention our classes so we have these classes so we have mentioned that okay similarly uh, we have this application.py file so application py file is our main file so as you can see so basically to to building front uh, website basically we have used html css as a front end okay so basically we have used html css as a front end python language as a back end right and to connect uh, into between that so we have used flask framework okay so flask framework comes with multiple routes we have to define routes in flask okay roots means what see this is the this is the upload image route right see similarly if i click to log out so it got changed to login right similarly if i click to register so it got changed to register so this is called root okay so these all routes we have to define if you go to your this application dot file now so you will get to see that there are multiple routes which i have defined home about us register so these all routes we have to define in flask and we have to mention key when user will come to this route so what login page we have what what page html page we have to display so we have to mention it like that okay similarly when user will upload so this function will go to call and this function will internally call this detect function so in this detect function it is available inside this yolo image file yolo image base file so yolo image base file basically what it is doing it is loading our model it is making the prediction and after making prediction it is drawing the boxes and it is saving the result and displaying into html page okay like that do some research key what is yolo algorithm there are a bunch of videos available on internet for the yolo okay yolo is basically object detection algorithm okay but we have trained that object detection feature into our data set our fruit data set okay so we have retained that model okay and there is one more class constant class so in this construct class we have defined all the precaution and prevention for all categories okay so like that's our project is working okay so this way you can present and okay so if if teacher ask you why don't you have used the technique which you tell me uh, digital twin right so basically that is for uh, 
you can say you can tell your teacher a uh, technical terms if you directly say ki you have not tried that so they will uh, uh, they will ask you mul multiple question right so what you can do you can tell like ki basically uh, uh, digital twin is nothing but infrared uh, images right thermal images so you can say like ki you have not able to arrange the thermal camera and you have not got proper data set for thermal and you have tried that but you didn't succeed you can say like that and then you can say okay, we have got to know about this yolo algorithm then we have tried and then we got to we got succeed so that's why we have implemented so like that you can say and okay prepare a proper technical answer so that they will uh, you know understand your situation okay thank you friends for watching my video if any then subscribe channel and share with your friend thank you